Hi everyone, I'm John Page today and I'm going to use all kinds of painty papers or magazine pages. The only thing that uh, guided me in uh, putting all this is just the color. I wanted some blue color in my background so it doesn't have to be, a, it can be anything you want, just that's what I've picked. Some, I've got some, some jelly prints. I've got, this is a dictionary um, page that I've smeared some leftover paint and uh, also a magazine page because again the colors just fit what I'm planning to do in the background. Leftover paint that I've just again on a dictionary page and that's what I'm going uh, to use. Now uh, I'm just going to tear some pieces and just glue them randomly to my background on my page here this is a scrapbook a uh, not so <laughs> sketchbook uh, paper and i just uh, glue down two pages so i will have a nice surface to work on the page the pages or a uh, painty papers that I'm using are quite uh, thin so I'm just gluing them with a glue stick like so and I'm just going to go about it quite randomly whatever I get my hands on is probably going to just end on this background don't really uh, care I just want variation of color and also well I was about to glue this here but then I, I've uh, looked and I don't want this straight edge I want it random I want interest so I will just flip this piece over like that so I won't have a continuous a uh, straight line and so I'm just picking another painty paper, tearing, and let's see, just something to break this a uh, line, so I won't have straight lines, and also that I will have interest, and I'm going to try and put from each. A piece of, from each of these uh, pages at least three times here in the background always worked for me so I'm keeping at it yeah something like that so I've used this so I'm going to take another piece and glue it in another area on my background like let's put it here or like this i don't know trying not to overthink it just going to stick with at least three areas on my page otherwise i'm just going to put down pieces quite randomly I'm trying to be quick about it because it really doesn't matter. I just want some kind of coverage here. And let's take another a piece of paper. Maybe more from the magazine. I only have, no, I have two pieces here from the magazine, but never mind. Here we go, another one, and let's try this one. I just don't want straight edges. I have one here, but I'm planning on adding some paint on top. So, uh, 
well to this <laughs> disguise and blend everything together so I'm not too worried about this straight line as you can see I'm doing just whatever it goes and yes now it looks like a mess but I'm hoping at the end it won't look like a mess right now I'm just having fun gluing pieces and I really like this color so I'm putting another one here I think it brightens uh, the page so I'm just going to put more pieces of this painty paper on the background let's see I've got more leftovers here so I'm using them here we go Do I have more of this? I don't know. There is a lot of pieces here. Just grabbing whatever I can find and putting it on this page. course if you want you can go with straight lines you can do all kinds of rectangles and play with it it doesn't have to be torn paper whatever you like okay another small piece just using whatever I've got Let's see. Yeah, just a little bit more here and I think this is it for the beginning with all this torn paper. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit more glue. Okay. So here it is, now I want to add some uh, paint that will uh, make everything come together. I'm using this is a chalky finish American decor, I have bought this a long time ago, it was supposed to go on some furniture, didn't use it, I just like the color, that's why I'm using it, use any kind of acrylic uh, paint you like. and. I'm just going to put some, let's put some here, I want to add some water to it, I don't want it to be opaque, I'm taking a brush with water, like so, and I'm going to start going all over where the edges of these pieces come together and I'm just going around like so and as you can see the paint is now a uh, translucent and if I feel it's too translucent then I will add a little bit more of the paint and go over just there is no <laughs> formula for this this is just what I think is needed and like here I don't want the straight edge so I will probably pick more paint and it would be less translucent just so I can soften the edges of the paper I've glued here otherwise I'm just going around the pieces and adding from this paint Oh, 
almost done. Like I don't like the, the white that is here, then I can go over and just add a little bit. The white just was too harsh on the background. So it's just a, a way to blend everything together. That's the best, <laughs> best ex explanation I can give you. Like I don't like a, the um, how it looks between these two pieces. So I'm just going in like so and I can also use a finger like so and just blend everything together. And it's really up to you and how you like it. So, got my messy background. Looking a little bit like here, I need a little bit more. Yes, now I want this to dry before I continue. I'm planning on uh, either stamping or stenciling on top of it again another element that will bring everything together and I'll come back I'm back so background is dry I'm going to stencil now on top of it you can stamp just pick an element that you want in the background and I uh, to tie everything together I've got some white acrylic paint and a makeup sponge this is one of the stencils that I made and I'm going to use this one just lightly on the background and I'm taking some acrylic paint dabbing the excess and just dabbing away and I'm not concerned about being perfect and I don't push the makeup sponge it just needs to be part of the background nothing more it doesn't need to stand out like so so i'm just going and putting this here i'm really tapping lightly so and again so it's going on all of my background I will also put one here and I'm just going to continue and then I'll come back okay so I've, I'm done with the background uh, for now and I've got this stencil I bought it on Aliexpress and I want to do it on another page this is going to be my focal point and I'm going to do it just, this is just another uh, sketch paper and I'm going to stencil it and I've mixed, masked uh, some of it with a masking tape. I don't want the flowers that are here. And I've got some uh, dark blue acrylic paint here and I'm just going to do the face mostly. And I haven't even uh, changed the makeup sponge I'm just using the same one I've used with the white not concerned about again uh, that it would be perfect and I'm not concerned if the color will change because I still got some white on the sponge so right now I'm a uh, stenciling uh, all this part but I'm not sure I'm going to keep every detail I'm planning on tearing around the image and then bring it to my page so we'll see maybe some of it uh, I'll, I'll just not include it in we'll see Right now I'm just stenciling away. I've picked the sketch paper and sometimes it's not so good for all this mixed media stuff 
but for stenciling it's great because it absorbs the paint immediately so uh, when stenciling uh, there is less chance of a uh, spillage so for that thing it's just great and I've moved here so I'm gonna try <laughs> and fix it maybe just go over here the face again so it would be a little bit more distinct good enough okay so tearing around let's see let's start here I don't want again I don't want straight edges let's see I want yeah something like this so it means I will have to cut it here again just going and tearing some of it so I'm just using my nail to <laughs> yeah something like that so I, this I am going to oopsie I hope I'm still in frame that I didn't okay <laughs> So just cutting this I yeah so again just some glue stick nothing more And now I'm bringing back this, the same color I used on the background, putting some here with water and again I'm just going like this so it will go with the rest of the page. I want my face here to be distinct but I want all the other stuff to just go with the rest of the page yeah something like that and now I really want some leaves because I just have to have them so either I'm a going to do it by hand or some stenciling I'm going to uh, pick through my stencil it wasn't really planned uh, I just knew uh, in some vague idea what I'm going to do on this page so I'm going to uh, see about uh, some leaves and I'll be back And I'm back and I've got one another one of the stencil I make and I'm just going to do some of this uh, leaves here with the same a uh, dark blue I've got for a uh, this stenciling and just starting to stencil like so And some of it is going on top of my image. That's just one more technique to bring everything together. And I know that some of it is like blending and not uh, really standing out. But I'm going to do some contour line um, for this leaves so they will be a little bit more distinct so right now I'm just dabbing away and just one more let's do this one I'm going to just move this a little bit so I my stencil won't get into all this paint yeah
Okay, I'm going to uh, uh, let this dry and then I'm going to come back and do some contour line and well, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just drew some stem with a permanent marker. I've got some white jelly a pen and let's hope it will work. I never know if it will be noticeable, if it will work. I'm just going very loosely around the leaves and it's hardly noticeable. I've got in some, uh, this is an acrylic, acrylic uh, marker, also not sure. It's better, it's a little bit more noticeable. And as you can see, I'm really doing it loosely. I'm even thinking of adding some, maybe some black line also. We'll see. I really like this loose uh, look. Now I'm taking some black permanent marker and just adding one more loose lines around the shapes. It feels like I haven't waited enough for everything to dry. I feel like it's still a little bit moist. Maybe that's why the markers don't look so good right now. I don't know. I can live with it. I really like what's going on it on this page. And just think about it. We started with torn piece of paper. Okay, so, yeah, just a little bit black here, and here, yeah, I'm satisfied, <laughs> I just want to uh, stamp some, okay, so my video just cut off, I don't know why, I Finished with the page, I just made a contour line and stamped here the word create. That's it <laughs> for this page. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.